Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding group sold products by the date and try to walk you through how we can develop queries to such problems. This question has been asked in a startup in the last couple of years. Okay, so let's go through the question. We are given a table called activities with two different columns, sell date and the product. There is no primary key for this table, so it can contain duplicates. Okay. Each row of this table contains the product name and the date it was sold in the market. Okay. Write a SQL query to find for each date the number of different products sold and their names. The sold products names for each date should be sorted lexicographically. Okay. Resolve the table by ordered by cell date. Okay. Query result format is in the following example. Okay. So let's go through this example. The activities table has these different cell dates and the products, right? So if you see 30th of June, 2020, headphone was sold, basketball was sold and t-shirt was sold. sold. For 1st of June 2020, pencil was sold, Bible was sold. And on 2nd of June, mask was sold and mask was sold. But because obviously since it is a duplicate, so we only take mask. So on 30th of May, three products were sold. On 1st of June, two products were sold. And on 2nd of June, only mask was sold. So this is what we are going to get. Okay. And lexicographically uh, sorting means so from in the basically in an ascending order or the way the num the words appear in a dictionary okay so let's go ahead and try to build this query so from this what we can do is we can group by the cell date and then count the number of distinct products right so we can easily get the cell date and the number sold the problem arises with the third column product like how do we get these values right and let me introduce you to a new function or basically a function that not a lot of people use uh, but it is very useful and it can help you during group by functions to directly get values like this column right so let, let's go ahead and start so from this table which is called activities what you need to do is we, what we are doing we are grouping by the cell date right and then what you are doing you are returning the cell date and the count of distinct products because there can be duplicates like for this mask and since this column should be named number of sold so we can alias it as num sold now the third column products how do we calculate it so there is a function called group concat in mysql it's a function in mysql if you are using any other uh, version of sql so maybe it is something called string aggregation like in t sql it is called string aggregation so in mysql it is called group concat so basically what group concat does is within the group it is trying to concatenate the values from a given column and by default the concatenation occurs with a comma okay so when i write concat and what which column do i need to concat the products right so product and then since again you need to order these products lexicographically so you can order by product right and what is the column name of the final table as products right as products now if you look at it there is still a problem with this what is the problem so basically what it is going to do is 
here let's say for this right for 2nd of june 2020 so for 2nd of june there are masks right so mask and mask so it is going to order mask and mask and you know concatenating it but we don't need mask and mask we only need mask right so we need to only return the distinct products so distinct products is what we need from the group concatenation right so that is what we are going to do and then the final thing should be ordered by the cell date so order by cell date okay so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me submit this and let's see if it works or not i think it should pass all the test cases but let's check okay so this passes all the test cases so yeah this is how we do this and remember this is a very handy and useful function group concat so what it is doing for each of the group so basically each of the cell date it is concatenating the products or the values from the product table by a comma right and then the products are ordered in lexicographic manner so the way they appear in the dictionary so we can use this directly right so yeah let me know if you guys found this video useful and until then i will see you guys in the next video